Hi, I'm going to show you how to use table functions in DAX. These are super important functions to help you come up with really detailed calculations. So let's get started. Um, I am using a very simple data set and we can look at it by going over to the data view. This is an IT data set that just has the uh, status of tickets, the problem, and the number um, of time it took to resolve a ticket. There's some other data with agent. So this is a table, and we know, we can see the table. This is our fact table, and it has 212 rows if we navigate towards the bottom there. So if we go back over to our report view, I want to use the easiest calculation uh, that we use for table functions. And remember, table functions take tables as an argument. And what do I mean by an argument? So let's just create a new measure. I have just a calculation table just to keep my calculations there. And I'm going to count rows. And remember, table functions take, take a table. So I have a fact table. I'm using that as my argument. And I'm just going to name this count of rows. And we know from our view before we saw that there was 212 rows. Now, that is a very easy table calculation. And we're going to utilize that in a few minutes with another calculation. If we go back over to our report view, we can look at our fact table and we can see there are different status here for our ticket. And if just like in Excel, we can filter through those with all of these different options. So if I just clicked resolve and I filtered this table on that, I can see from the bottom here that we have 212 rows all together, but when it's filtered, there's 201. We can achieve that with a table calculation. So a table function returns a table. So let's see how that works. I'm going to create a new table for demonstration purposes. So go to modeling, go to new table. And we can use that function directly in there using filter. Now, filter, it asks for a table because it's a table function. I'm going to give it the fact table. And then I'm going to create the expression. Remember, we we're looking at resolve tickets. So I'm looking at status equal resolve. And we can call this the resolved table. That's going to give us a whole new table in our model. Can you? Here it is. And if we go over, we can see if I navigate down the, that resolved table, it has 201 rows because we know this is a filtered table. It does not have the status of pending or active. Now we have two functions that we can use, count rows and the filter function. So let's put those together without creating a kind of a hard table. I'm going to right click over to my calculations and I'm going to use calculate with some table functions that we just learned. So I want to calculate. What do I want? I want an expression. So I'm going to count the number of rows. And let's just do that all. We know we did that, but I want to write it out just so we can see what's happening. I'm going to give that the fact table. I'm going to close that off because that gives us returns what we want, the number of rows from that table. Then I'm going to use filter. And I'm going to say, give me the fact table. 
but only give me the fact table as we did before with the status equals result. And we can call, let's just call this number of resolved. And we should arrive at the same number of arrows in our resolve table. So if I bring that in, turn that into a card, we should see 201 rows. The next table function I want to talk about is values. So if I go over to uh, our modeling, let's create another table and let's see what values does. I'm going to click on values and what values does is returns unique values from a table. So I'm going to bring in all the agents from our fact table and I'm going to call this the agent table now we have a new table called agent table if we go over and look at this table and our data view we can see we have all the unique agent IDs and this table these, that we created exists in our model. Here's our fact table. Here's our calculations table that we're just using to hold our calculations. Here's our resolve table, which is just an example. But here's our agent table. And we can use this fact table and connect it to this lookup table here and use this in our calculations. So if I go back over to the report view and I can go now to my agent table, bring that data in. And of course, I can filter the rows here and you can see there's a difference there. But let's bring that into the table. So we ha already have our number of resolved from our calculations. And we have our count of rows, which will give us all the status. And we can see the difference now. We already can create a very useful calculation. Let's do it now. Present uh, percent of resolved. So we click new measure. And then we use our number of resolved. And we can divide that by the count of rows and then we can call this percent of resolved and we bring that in and we can see turn that into a percent which agent has the highest resolve rate or the percent of resolved tickets. The next function I want to do is the all function. Now, this time, uh, I, do, I don't want to create a new table because the all function just brings in all the rows regardless of the filter. But let me show you how that works. If I go over to, let's create a calculation. And we can say calculation. Let's go here, just like we did our other one. We start with calculate. What do we want to do? We want to count rows, so let's use that. We want to count you know, a fact table. And this time, we can use all. Now, all returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column. And we know how things work uh, when we use values. So this time I'm going to use all, but I'm going to say bring me all the status in the table. So remember that is going to remove 
all filter, all filter context. So I'm going to call this all status. So let's see what that does when we bring it in our table. So now I'm going to move this over to the end. So we can see we have the number of resolve, which, uh, which is a value, the count of rows, which is bringing everything back, and then the all status. And if I bring in status from our fact table, turn that into a filter, we know that we can filter these values. But let's see what happens when we get to all. I'm going to go to active it doesn't change. Why? Because we told our calculation and all status to bring back all the status rows regardless of what is specified on these filters. And of course you can create a calculation create a very quick calculation similar what to what we did for percent of resolved go to new measure this time we're going to use what do we want to do we want to do our resolved number of resolve divided by our all status and then we should have percent of resolved two. We'll just call that two. We bring that in. And we can see we get that same calculation. It has a couple more zeros. Let's turn that into a present percent. And we can see that we get the same answer as before. That is how you use table functions in Power BI. I'll do part two of these with detailed calculations on how we use values with average x and all with some other functions. I hope that helps. Thank you.